I have a question. If I want to stream, do I stream games that I'm passionate about or follow the trends? The streaming is more for fun than trying to go for money. Do whatever you want to do then. Do whatever you want to do. So it's it's a knife edge. It's a weird graph. If you want to stream video games, you have to find a way to provide value to the audience. That's what you need to do. No matter what game you use, no matter how you stream, provide value to the audience. If you want to stream an extremely popular game, let's use an example of, you know, Power World or Apex Legends or something like that, you are going to be competing with a huge number of other streamers, which means if someone divides or kind of searches by just the game, they will not find you. They are more likely to search by the game, without a doubt, because it's a more popular game, but you are less likely to be seen. You're a small fish in a big pond. Let's say instead you stream a 22-year-old RPG. Let's take Morrowind as an example. There are not that many people streaming Morrowind right now. But equally, there are not that many people searching for Morrowind streams. Which means while you are more likely to be found by whoever searches for it, the number of people searching for it are just lower. Ultimately, if someone finds you, they will stay because you entertain them. They will stay because you engage with them and you provide something a stream cannot provide. If you want to do it for fun, you have to understand that when you sit down to play a video game, normally 100% of your focus is on that game. If you sit down to stream, you have to find a way to split your focus between the game and the audience. And if you split it 50-50, both of them end up being bad. You aren't paying enough attention to the game to beat the game, and you aren't paying enough attention to the audience to entertain the audience. So you've got to find a way to play a game in such a way that you don't need to pay too much attention to it, but still have some level of skilled gameplay, while you're paying enough attention to the audience to entertain them. For example, I've just ran completely the wrong way on the map, because I'm spamming jump and trying to respond to your... Uh, your content. That's why so many people say to me, oh my god, I can't believe I watched this streamer play the game and they were so bad. They would probably be quite good if they only had to worry about the game. I mean, if I, if you want me to just play Morrowind, I can just play Morrowind. That's fine. I'll be way better at it, but I would be feeling guilty constantly about the fact of not entertaining. I will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. See, I read that quickly. It's a mini quest about them wanting to kiss you, and if you do, I'm pretty sure you get paralyzed. But I didn't make any content out of it. I decided not to. And that's a boring way of being. Is there such a thing as being bad at games in a skillful manner? Yeah, without a doubt. Definitely. But that doesn't mean that you don't need to have fun while playing them. The skill is to make it look like you're not putting any effort in, when in reality, you are... Like, if you see someone gracefully swimming across the surface of a lake, what you don't see is the fact that their little legs are going, you know, 20 to the dozen, under the water, trying to make it look like they're not working at all. Make things look effortless. And someone who understands how much effort these things take will look at you and go, God damn, you're making that look effortless. Sometimes... I can't think of anything to say, so I focus on the game. Sometimes I can think of a lot to say, so I focus on you guys and chatting and having fun. Ultimately, if I won't, if I'm not having fun with the game, I'll just stop playing it. You can't make it feel forced. It's one of those horrible things where I've got so many friends and relatives who say to me, "Oh, my, my son, my daughter, my my cousin, my niece, my nephew." Where would you like to go? I'd like to go to Balmora, please. Is it Balmora we're going to? Yes. And then Mage's Guild. Why walk when you can ride? So many people say to me, oh, my you know, my son, daughter, cousin, whatever, wants to be a YouTuber, wants to be a Twitch streamer. Can you talk to them? Can you give them some advice? And I see so many people, and when they say they want to be a YouTuber or a Twitch streamer, what they mean is they like playing video games. How can they make money doing that? And that's like saying, I like watching films... Therefore, how can I be an actor? Okay, it's a good place to start. You know what? It's a good place to start. I I've love heard a watching lot about films. You, Outlander. Go ahead. That's why I wanted to be an actor. But what I realized was that just watching films isn't enough to be in films. You then need to go and train at your craft. 
learn how to do it, that kind of stuff. If playing video games is fun for you, that's great. Watching films is fun for some people. It's like watching football on TV and saying, oh my God, I want to be a footballer. How do I have to do it? Well, ironically, you won't be watching anywhere near as much football if you want to do it. You then need to go and train to be an actor, train to be an editor, learn to be a graphic designer, uh, learn to be a researcher, learn to manage your own time, do all your own taxes, that kind of stuff. There's, there's a hell of a lot of work behind it. Most people do want to receive instant success by going viral. I mean, so mad, oh, mad the amount of companies that approach me. And I know that I go off on tangents a lot, but I tend to talk when I'm doing these streams a lot. If you want to stream for you, just download a really basic streaming software, stream for you. Super easy. Don't expect too much. You might get one viewers, you might get two viewers, but you will realize the moment you start to try and entertain those viewers, instead of playing the game, you don't make anywhere near as much progress on the game and you lose it as well. You, you lose the skill and the energy that you put into the game. Why do you think we've been playing Morrowind for like 20 hours and we're like four quests in to each quest line? We could have been halfway through the game by now if I was just powering through the game. But the amount of companies, someone, you said the word viral, and that very much sets me off. The amount of companies that come to me and go, hey Josh, we want to make a viral video. I'm like, oh mate, same. How do we do it? And they, they look at me and they go, we, we were hoping you could help with that because you've had some videos receive over a million views. I'm like, yeah, I have. And I've had way more not do that. So what we could do if you want to make a viral video is we could make hundreds of videos over many years, slowly improving our craft and slowly niching down into a very specific audience that we want to, you know, cater to and have and entertain. And they look at me and they're like, no, we were hoping we, you could just make one video and it would get loads of views. I'm like, ah, gotcha. I see. I see what's out. I'm picking up what you're putting down here. Uh, let me counter. If I was able to do that, why would I work with you? Like, if I could just do that, if I could wake up and be like, you know what? <sighs> Guys, the only reason that I haven't put out a 10 million view video is I just don't want to. That's what it is. I can. I just choose not to. When I make a video, sometimes I make it too good. And I'm sitting there watching the final edited piece and I'm thinking, this is going to get 5 million views. That's too many. Let me put some wrong things in. Let me make the editing a bit shitter. Let me talk to the algorithm and, uh, you know, hobble my own kind of exposure to everything. Yeah, 800k to a million. That's good. I'll sit around that level. But companies come to me all the time and go, yo, can you get us these views? I'm like, look, if I could, I would get them for myself and not work with you, because working with you is stress and I don't want that. I want to wake up, play my silly games, make my silly videos, paint my little plastic boys and go back to bed. That's what I want to do. Mm. I, I still edit the vast majority of my own stuff because I value it. I enjoy that. Yeah, let me, let me shit this up a little bit. Let me make this a little bit worse. What plastic? Well, right now, we've got both the boxes for the Warhammer the Old World that I will be working through eventually. Hey, Mr. Josh, can you make a video for me that will get 2 million views? Uh, best I can do you is 800k, and it will take about a month to get there. That's what I can do. That, that's where the, the worst MMO ever kind of sits in general. I really love it when companies come to you with no clue at all. I used to work with companies who wanted to do drama training for kids. And they would come to me and they say, uh, Mr. Hayes, you've got about a, a six week slot to work with these children. You'll see them for one hour a week. Can we put on a show? I'm like, you six hours, six hours is what you're giving me. And they will forget what I've taught them in lesson one by the time lesson two starts. And you want me to put on a show, right? I would, you'd be lucky if they remember anything I tell them over these six weeks. You have far too much faith in me. Let's let's lower those expectations. Prepare to be whelmed. I mean, yeah, I can put in a show. It will not be good.